In this video, we'd like to talk about what resistors do. Resistors, in a nutshell, slow the flow of current, and the amount of slowing they're able to do is a measure of the ohms, given this Greek letter omega right here, that the resistor has. Maybe 10 ohms, or 1,000 ohms, or 10,000 ohms, or maybe even 1 million ohms. So resistors are the components that look like this. They have the wire on this side and the wire on this side. One is for the current going in, and the other is for the current going out. It doesn't matter which is in. If one's in, the other will be out, and vice versa. And they were sort of surrounded by a little cylindrical element here with colored bands on them. That's how they're easy to identify. Those have these colored bands on them. So the question is, how do resistors slow electrical current down? How do they slow current is the question. So if you look microscopically inside a resistor, what you'd see are the in and the out. But the, you see these green dots in here, and what these green dots represent are the inner core nuclear structure of the material that the resistor is made out of, usually something like carbon. So as you can see here, if you're a little electric charge with a little negative sign right here, trying to sort of push yourself through the resistor, in the form of electric current, you're going to keep colliding with these green things. So you'll sort of come in and go crash, 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 you'll sort of make yourself over to the right, but in a very indirect path, almost like trying to run through a crowded room. Now you'll eventually come out, because all current always has to come out of a resistor, but you can see the path through there was very indirect, so you've been slowed down. Now we can't always worry about the internal nuclear structure of a resistor as we're using them to build our circuits and stuff. So what we'll focus on then, then is the color bands that you'd see on a resistor like this. So if you look at the color bands that are the first three, always on the opposite end of the resistor as to the metallic band, you want to get away from that one to sort of identify them. I see some colors like brown, black, and brown. This one here has the colors red, red, red on it here. This one here has the colors brown, black, orange on it. So what does it mean in terms of the resistance for these right here? Well, the color codes are all mapped to a number here. I'll sort of abbreviate these, these here. Black stands for zero. Brown stands for one. Red stands for two. And orange stands for three. Now there's a lot more of these. You can look them up on the internet exactly what they are, like green is six and so on. But let's see if we can just decode these resistors based on the colors we have here. So if I take this first resistor here, which has the color bands on it, I'll write them over here. I'm just reading it right off the resistor here. I see a brown, then I see a black, then I see another brown again, like that. Now if I look at the chart here, I see that brown corresponds to one, black corresponds to zero. Now you might think I'm gonna write another one right here and maybe the resistance would be 101, but that's not the way it works. This will be a one because it's brown, this will be a zero because it's black, but now I do a times 10 to the number of that third band, and the brown right here is 10 to the one. So this resistor here is 10 times 10 to the one. 10 to the one is just 10. So the resistor that I have in my hand here, the brown, brown, black, brown, is a 100 ohm resistor. That's what that means, 100 ohms. I've just decoded the resistor. So if I was current trying to go through this resistor here, knocking into its inter internal structure, as I mentioned here, I would encounter 100 ohms of resistance. How about the next one right here? Just do one or two more here. This is red, red, red. So I see a red, and I see a red, and I see a red, something like that. Three reds in a row. Well, one red is two, the next red is two, and remember, times 10 to the color of the third band, which is another red, so it's times 10 to the two. Remember, 10 squared is 100, so all told, this resistor here is gonna have a resistance of 22 times 100, or 2,200 ohms. That'll be the resistance of this resistor here, 2,200 ohms, based on its red, red, red color band right here. So that's just in a nutshell what resistors do. I have a third one. Maybe we'll just leave an exercise for you to figure out here. This turns out as a brown, black, orange. So brown here is one, black is zero, so 10 times 10 to the orange, which is three times 10 to the third. So this is a 10,000 ohm resistor. So that's in a nutshell what resistance do. They slow current flow, the amount of resistance is given in ohms, and you can use the color codes to decode exactly how much resistance they have.